After nearly 14 years, a family reunited. Former UKZN law student Jabulo Ndlovu went to prison in 2004. He was found guilty of gang raping a family friend in 2002, a crime that he did not commit. During the trial, evidence was presented that Ndlovu was nowhere near the crime scene. But the court overlooked that and sentenced him to life imprisonment. His friend and former university classmate stood by him until he was acquitted. The judges focused mainly on the magistrate that uh, was handling the trial itself. There were so many irregularities uh, in, in, in terms of the, how the trial was conducted. That's point one. Point two, there was evidence, uh, uh, more particularly the DNA evidence, that was not introduced or that was not uh, given to uh, uh, Tunjabulo as part of, um, uh, as part of uh, uh, documentation that he should have supposed to have known about it before the trial had, com had commenced. Ndlovo says he never lost hope and completed his law degree last year while still in prison. During his years in jail, he had to pretend he was actually a criminal in order to survive prison life. Now, he wants to get his life back on track. Ngitheng ufika ejele ngayi programa mina myself ukuthi okay ngoba sengiqoke kanje angithi icala ngilenzile even nangumuntu oseceleni kwami so ngitheng ufika ejele ngaba umuntu olenzile icala ngaphila ukulenza icala lokho kungusize kakhulu ngoba ukube bengihlezi ngikuveza ukuthi angilenza ngalo nto ibizwa ngibulala kakhulu because bekuyisilonda ebe singidla ngaphakathi the court reportedly also disregarded DNA test results, which cleared Ndlovu of the crime. Justice Minister Michael Masuta admits that such mistakes do happen. The mere fact that a court has found somebody guilty or innocent is not always the absolute um, reality of what actually happened. The court can only do uh, its best based on what is put before it, and sometimes mistakes are made. The National Prosecuting Authority in Wazun Natal declined to comment to Bavilane, Deben.